Hello everybody and welcome back to Insanebrit Gaming. I've been Insanebrit and this week's simulation, yes it's out a little bit late. There's not much I could do about that. <clears throat> I wanted to commentate on it. So I had to wait for people to fuck off and leave me alone. Um, so this week's game uh, against Aston Villa, we lost against West Ham. I think it was a 1-0 loss. Um, so I didn't get to see that game. Uh, I'm not too sure if this was on Sky or what. But the team he played... Um, of course, it's a derby game. It's going to be physical, the rest of it. I don't really have too much faith in Pedro um, and Giroud in regards to those those big games uh, for me. I feel, but that's this is a lineup he essentially played. Uh, but remember, he, he is having to rest people now. At this point, it is December the busy fixture um, season in the Christmas period? It is a nightmare, especially for even me recording. So there may be some games this month that I don't actually. Uh, do the commentary for and just record it for you. Let the FIFA take over the commentary for you guys. Um, and I'll do the lineup, of course, like I always do. But there you go. Um, so I'm not too sure. I mean, he's going to have to change some things up here. Uh, some of these players are really tired. William looked tired during the Valencia games. I think he gave him a rest. We have Everton at the weekend as well. So that's, I think, don't get me wrong. I think Kante and William will definitely be back for the Everton game. I'm not too sure about this one, really. I'm a little bit conflicted here about who's a play. Um, I'm not too sure if Aspilicueta is going to play. I think Tabby Abraham's injured still. I'm unsure. I think Hudson Adoy is injured. Rodriguez, fuck knows when he's coming back. Um, so you can see my point here of who to play, who I want to play. Barkley might even get a run out in this game. Uh, he may even get a run out at Everton, but that's going to be a hostile environment for him being a former Everton player. Blah, blah, blah. So again, I'm unsure. A little bit conflicted here. It's going to be Batshuayi or Giroud. I think he might play Batshuayi. But again, I'm unsure of that. So I'm going to leave these people on the bench and go with what this is now. Um, so yeah. I haven't actually, as usual, I haven't touched the uh, Villa side. No saying that. So if you're a Villa fan, then take it up with FIFA. Whether they say, hey, you got to play. I don't know. It's all up to them. <laughs> right, let's get crack on. So hopefully this microphone holds up because I still haven't got a pop guard. I hate this now. It's so fast. This is frustrating. Aston Villa is Chelsea. I know that much. But then when it comes to seeing the teams, I can barely read <laughs> off their names. You might even have to pause this video uh, just to, to see. So Chelsea is sitting third apparently according to this. Jorginho. Sheffield United 5th? What the fuck is going on? Man United 7th? Where the hell does Sheffield United get a 5th? That's insane. And number 18, Five goals in the last three matches. Again, there was another big update on FIFA. Not too sure what it was, but um, maybe that would change the way the game plays. I don't know. Um, i got to do um, this week's... Oh, man. Career mode. That'd be week eight or nine. I think it's nine this week. I'm struggling right now. I won't even lie. I think is this. I think uh, did did Villa beat? I think it's Villa. Did they beat Man United? I think that's what happened. So Kepa in goal. James Zuma Tomori at the back four, along with Emerson. Jorginho Kovacic make up the midfield. Jesus Christ, how fast can I read this? It's insane. That's a better look outlook. Okay, they need to really delay that. It's really pissing me off. Heaton in goal. Gilbert, Engels, Mings, Target, McGuin, Nakamba. Who the hell was the other guy? Ah, oh, Treasures against Wesley and Grelish. Gre Grelish? Oh, I don't know his name. Again, the pronunciations of some of these names, no, they're not that complicated. When you only see them once, it does get kind of frustrating um, because I don't watch these teams each and every week. So let's step out of the game. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it that's for me. So here we go. Chelsea kick it off. It is a home game. The next one's at Everton on Saturday, like I said. So I think it could be resting. Gre Grelish now. Or Grelish. Oh, that name's going to drive me nuts. Intercepts. Trevor's a guest. A new player this season. He's got quite a few players, uh, Villa. Not doing too badly. Or well, when I've seen them. Chelsea back in possession now. Kovacic. Mount. 
Pedro to Juru. Great tackle there. Nakambi? I can't even say his name. Nakambi? Oh man, he's, I'm going to butcher his names. Again, I'm only seeing them once. Mason Mount now in the midfield. Time to time and space on the ball. Pedro. Trying to play a little one two there. Makes a little run. A strike from distance and it's gone wide. Very open right now. Testing the waters. That was a bad shot from Mount. Seven minutes gone. Heaton with the goal kick. Villa with the interception there. Good ball into the right hand side. Embassy can't get it. It's Trezor Guest now. Cuts inside. Puts in the ball into the box. Into the centre. Goes up the challenge. And Chelsea managed to get that. Oh man, that was a good move from uh, Villa. James done really well in recent games as well, I've noticed. Emerson. I don't think he's going to. He will. Re he may replace Asper quite a long term, but he ain't going to, uh, you know. Keep him out of the team like that long term. I mean, he may, but uh, Aspilicueta is too good. Reese now coming forward, blocked off now. Relish loses out to and then Jorginho now passes it into Mount. Chelsea dominating possession in the early stages. So I haven't said all the Villas players' names because I'm only seeing them once here. It's, it's so quick. A great crossing of a box. Oh, and it's cleared there. Akamba, McCann. Throws a guess back to McCann. Interception there. Mount now down to Pedro. Back to Mount on his left hand side. Pelosic now inside the box. Bang. Oh man, I thought that was going to be a goal. That was a great save from Heaton. I really did. Look at the, the position he was. I thought he was going to put it on that right hand side. And he dragged it back to his left trying to trick the keeper. Great save from the keeper. I thought it went wide. It wasn't. It had to be a save. Corner to Chelsea. Heaton with the punch. Chelsea back in possession though. Kovacic. Zuma. It's Mount. Back to Giroud. Gets it from underneath his feet. Couldn't generate enough power. Well, the power wasn't bad, but the um, it was off target either way. Yeah, it kind of lashed at it. But he didn't. He felt he had a defender marking him. Heaton plays it short to Mings. They paid about 20 million for him. Target. Back to Mings. Don't know who this player is. Our something? What? I can't read his name. It's weird. Tries to play a 1 2. Yeah, his name's Our something. Like, what a stupid fucking name. Pedro, brilliant interception there. Oh, that was brilliant from Chelsea. Giroud, don't slow down the, uh, the play, Giroud. Come on. Kovacic now. Coming inside, does a little step over, he's trying to get into the box. He's cut inside, drags it across goal, Chelsea with a 1-0 lead. Oh, that was brilliant. Brilliant from Kovacovic, that was amazing movement. Mount finished it, but what what a dribble. What a dribble. Brilliant from uh, Kovacic, man, that was amazing. Didn't think it'd go that far. Did his little step over, he's inside the box and drags it. Well, it was a pass across goal. Got past a bunch of Villa players behind them. And Mount taps it away. That was beautifully done. Twenty one minutes gone. Chelsea one nil up. Zuma, Jorginho, Giroud, Pedro now, Jorginho to Pelosic now on his left hand side, Chelsea dominating possession, looking more confident, trying to get a second goal, Giroud finding space in the box, no one closing Pedro or Giroud down, drags it across goal, I think that's an offside call, 
Yes, it was. A blatantly offside. Trying to get back onside. You can see his body movement like, oh shit, I'm offside. Hasn't worked out for him. <laughs> Will have to do a lot more to get back into this game. They've had one or two chances. Good ball on his right hand side. Trezor gets trying to beat Emerson. He just about does, but it went out of play. Tomori. Jorginho. Again, no one really closing down the midfield for Chelsea, uh, for Villa there to, to, to try and compete with Chelsea. And they've got all this time and space on the ball. It's a bit poor. Letting them get so far, then blocking them off. And um, they strike a kind of isolated up top. Pedro. Pelosic now. It's just like a, a passing match but for Chelsea, like a training game at this point. Puts it in to Pelosic now. Mount. Oh, I think that was Giroud with a shot. Yes, it was. Generated a lot of power on it. Tried to get on target. The goalkeeper couldn't risk that. Should be pleased with how this first half is going. Low sick now. Emerson plays a nice little one too. Mount now. He's been doing really well as, as well. Giroud back to Mount. No, Pelosic. Kovacic now in the box. Left hand side. I can't keep track of this ball. Kovacic now in the box. All challenged by McCann. Trezor Guest. Akamba. To Owl or something. Wesley. I haven't seen Wesley. That's his name. Have not seen Wesley. He's given a ball away there completely. Pedro now. Giroud. Back to Pedro. Back to Giroud. Still maintain possession. No. Target won it back from him. Nakamba. To Wesley. Nakamba now. Getting into the game a little bit more. Tries to clip it into the left hand side. Reese <coughs> was there. Or James rather. Jorginho now switching side of play and tries to guess with the interception there. Wesley. McCann. What is he doing? He keeps putting shitty balls into that into that spot and no one is there. It's dumb. He keeps giving the ball away and Chelsea just soaking up the pressure and coming forward. And they can do that. They've got the 1-0 one um, one lead at this point. Mount now coming forward. Manages to beat his man more or less. Giroud wins it. Gets another shot off. Oh, and heat. And again with another great save. Giroud at this point just taking pop shots at the goalkeeper. And he's free to do so outside of his left foot. Brilliant strike there. Great save. One-handed. Heat must be getting tired of that shit. Oh, I didn't even see that corner. That was taken so fast, man. We're coming up to the end of the first half. And then another corner for Chelsea. Near post or near... Oh, drags it across and heat him with the save this time. I think that's Tomori taking a shot. And this time... Is that Wesley now on the break? No, it's guess now. On the break. he got to get back. <laughs> he slowed it down, waiting for support. guess beats his man, puts a cross into the box. Villa swarming in, but uh, been cut out by Chelsea. Now will uh, Chelsea hit them on the break? Giroud. To Pelosic now. Back to Giroud. Oh, I think that was Mount actually. I'm not too sure. Puts it in. And Mings this time with the interception. Jorginho winning it back. Great tackle. Remember last year I used to complain uh, G uh, Jorginho's tackling was shit. He was oh, just annoying. He was too weak. Now this season has been absolutely brilliant. Oh, it was a great ball from Giroud into Pedro. Now it's right hand side. Blocked off by target. He still manages to get the ball across. Giroud with a shot. Pedro! Oh, what a great save from Heaton. Oh, that was brilliant. Chelsea really putting the pressure on the last minute. Oh, man, that was fun to watch. Wasn't it the last few minutes of, that, of this match. <laughs> and that is the end of the first half. Chelsea maybe feel, or I feel, of all the possession and play they've had, they should have at least another goal. Um, 
Villa trying to get back into it though. Eight shots in this first half, none for Villa. That is poor. Look at the possession difference as well. Unbelievable. Gonna have to change that up. <clears throat> Again, this may not be the lineup we play, but um, if we're doing this well with uh, the likes of Pedro and Giroud on, I know it's just a simulation. Uh, it it just uh, goes to show what we might do with the other team, uh, other players on like Batchwai is quite more is a bit more lively, you know. But Villa, I think, have been in good form. So, uh, again, so I'm not too sure. But like I said, I can only put out uh, on these FIFA Sims what FIFA updates. So, you know, whatever kind of form they're in, they're in. So, be interesting. But uh, Villa have always been a bogey team for Chelsea. Losing, drawing. Terry's there as well. So, it'll be John Terry versus Lampard kind of scenario in uh, on uh, Wednesday, I believe it is. McCann now. Coming forward. Tomori with the interception there. 50 minutes gone. 1-0 to Chelsea. No substitutions made yet. Mount. Pedro. Emerson with the interception this time. Again, Chelsea still with a possession. Dominating it. Again, it's not surprising they're at home as well. So, but then again, they always seem to dominate they're that good a team. Mount now, threading it through. Giroud, Jorginho, Mings once again with the interception. Gilbert, Emerson now this time with the interception. Kovacic with some <laughs> stylish pass. <laughs> Mount shrugged off the ball. No, he still maintains possession. Gives it to Pedro. The bypass is his man. Will he take a strike from distance? Passes into Pelosic now. Nice little back heel. Giroud Kavakic and a great save from Heaton. My God. Substitution for Chelsea. Substitution for Chelsea. Brilliant move from Chelsea there. Coming onto the pitch. Number seven. Kante. So Kante is coming on. Didn't say who for. Oh, Jorginho. Okay. Corner to Chelsea, near post, drags across. It's Mount with a strike! Oh, that was a brilliant strike from distance. <laughs> Look at that. Had the confidence to hit it. Oh, it went wide anyway. So, Kante on for Jorginho at this point. That's not a bad substitution. Jorginho didn't do anything wrong. There'll be more energy injected into that midfield. Louise. Again, I haven't seen Wesley. I haven't even seen the name Louise. Did they even make, did they make a sub? I don't even know. <laughs> Mount. Kante. Kovacic now coming forward. Can't beat his man this time. Gilbert with the interception. Kante now with his first touches of the ball. Mount. I think that was Mount. Absolutely brilliant. No, oh, there's another shot. It weren't Mount. I don't know who won that ball there, but that was a good... Uh, he won the ball back well. Mount took the shot. Easy for the keeper to scoop up, though. Chelsea dominating position. I think it was Kovacic who won that. Kante. Emerson now, coming forward. Joining the attack. He's got a shot on him, remember. Throws it through to Giroud. Holds up play. Like a little back heel there. Emerson with a strike. Hits the post. Oh, it's brilliant. Mount now, giving it to Pedro. Interception by the, uh, I don't know who that was actually. A strike from distance from uh, Giroud, I believe. And an easy save for Heaton. Aston Villa under extreme pressure. And still only losing 1-0. Kovacic now, once more, coming forward. Loses out this time, gets clattered into. And again, Villa unable to hold possession of the ball for any length of period of time. Again, not even getting a shot off. Nice little back heel. Kovacic now. Will he take a strike from distance? He's inside the box. Gets intercepted there. Zuma joining the attack. Giving it to Mount. Back to Pelosi. Mount. Giroud. Oh, Mount was trying to hand it back to Giroud. Intercepted this time. And uh, everyone wants a piece of this uh, today. Mason Mount is coming off. Man, must be knackered for Ross Barkley. And I kind of agree with that. Being that number 10 spot... But it's not a problem. We are going to have to rest people for the Everton game. So it makes sense. But Mount has done fantastic. There's no doubt about that. 
Barclay could be a bit more physical as well. Pedro. Ball into the box and it's been cleared by Mings, I believe that was. Kante on the ball. Doing some wonderful step overs. Strikes it! Brilliant save from Heaton. Unbelievable. Chelsea having a free throw here at Stamford Bridge. Look at that. Similar to Kovacic's step overs, where it was the same move. And a great strike. And Villa make a substitution as well. 70 minutes gone. Goes up for it. It's gone wide. Again, I don't know who the hell came on because of the stupid thing. And uh, Zuma putting it over the top. Unlucky. They need that second goal. Even though they dominated possession. Again, I don't know who came on for Villa. So my apologies. Oh, it was a target off for Gazai. Gazi. I've seen him before. Knocking around for a couple of years that he has. I believe. Barkley now. Giroud. And to pick a pass. James joins in the attack. Giroud back to Pedro. Kante back hill. Giroud in the box. And it's been given away. Barkley. Kante. Bring it through. Oh, I think that was that James? The right back? I don't know. Who I think was that I don't know who that was. No it won't. Might have been uh might have been Pedro, I don't know. Emerson now. Substitution for Chelsea coming off the pitch. And it's our third one and Giroud's coming off, who ain't had a bad game. For Batchwai, give Batchwai a run out. Again, rest those players. So let's see what Batchwai can do, or the Batman, as he's commonly known around uh, the Cobham training ground, I'm told. Kante. Kuakic. Batchwai now. Hold up, play off. Ooh, that was Barkley this time with a strike. I feel sorry for Heat, and this whole game has been under pressure. If you are a Villa fan, I'm gonna. I think Man of Match award definitely goes to Heaton. He's kept them way in this game. They could have been down three, four nil at this point. Heaton has done fantastically well. Inside the box now. Oh, a strike from distance, and it's been blocked off. That guy with our in his name, you have to change it, mate. It's fucking terrible. It's so retarded. It's just stupid. It's like someone fucking came into the country and fucking made up a name. It's, it's just retarded, man. Emerson. That's why. Loses out to our whatever his name is. Ridiculous. Tamori. Good ball in from Tomori. I believe it was. Yeah, it was Tomori. Cut out now. Villa trying to get back into this game. Remember, we're only winning 1-0. They can snatch a goal and all this could be for nothing. All that hard work that Chelsea have done up until this point. They, they haven't been clinical though. Haven't done enough. Appreciation for today's man of the match. Number 17, Matteo Kovacic. To be you, I was thinking that as well. It was Kovacic as well. Or whatever he's, you know how he said the name. Uh, man of a match. There's a ball into the box. Gone wide though. Ain't had enough of that. Uh, Villa. Wesley's been cut out the game effectively. He's been isolated. No one giving him the ball. Villa have been really poor in, in attacking wise. Really have been. They've just been like there to soak up pressure, and it's been ridiculous. It's all been Chelsea dominating. Massively disappointed if you're a Villa fan. There will be a minimum of three minutes. So yeah guys, my man of the match is Kovacic, uh, Kovacic, whatever, he's done absolutely brilliant, tackling, dribbling, setting up a goal, just brilliant. I mean, a number of players can got man of the match, Mount did really well as well, uh, and Giroud, they didn't do too badly, um, but yeah, Kovacic is my man of the match as well. And that is the end of the game, very disappointing for Aston Villa, if you're a Villa fan, you'll be pissed off at that because they showed no... 
um, attacking or whatever. They did nothing. They were just there to make up the numbers, it almost felt like. Chelsea, even though they had a team, which I would have said not our first team with Giroud playing, Pedro um, dominated. And, uh, you know, Pelosi and Mason Mount kind of ran that show on the Kovacage. Um, absolutely brilliant. But you have to appreciate that going forward, we are going to have, like, maybe Kante and William. William didn't even get on the, on the pitch. They will probably start the Everton game. We do have Lille coming up as well uh, in the Champions League. So that's going to be something uh, to think about as well when our next game. Uh, who knows? Maybe uh, William will play this game and Kante, and then we rest them the game before the Champions League one. I think that's what may happen as well. So again, it, you know, I just went with what I thought um, what the previous match, you know, with Giroud playing and that. Who knows? Maybe it will be Kante William because uh, we've got to prioritise that the, the league as well as the Champions League. So maybe uh, Giroud will start the European game. Don't know. It, it could all switch around. You just don't know. Plus injuries as well. Uh, we, you know, the likes of uh, Hudson Odoi out, Rudiega. I don't know what is happening with him until he comes back. There were some great saves made by Heaton as well. Kept him in this game. Nervous at 1-0 lead for, it doesn't matter if you dominate possession, if they got a snatch to goal like um, like West Ham did in the previous sim, then every, all that work was for nothing, you know what I mean? So yeah guys, my apologies if this video is out late, it is what it is. I have time constraints and going forward I may have one or two games which I can't commentate on, which is to be disappointing. Uh, and ironically, when I have had, when I've actually done that, um, to a point, um, what do you call it? They've had some views, like a thousand views here and there. So it is what it is. So hopefully, guys, you've enjoyed this video. Uh, next week's sim will be, or this week's sim later on in the week will be um, Everton, which is always a tough match um, for us. Uh, I, th I think they so uh, got rid of their manager. They're talking about. David Moyes coming back. Some of the Everton fans don't like the idea of him coming back um, for whatever reason. But he got him in the fifth spot consistently in sixth spot. So whatever. For me, I don't understand why. But and again, I'm not an Everton fan at the end of the day. Anyway, guys, uh, please uh, like, share, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links are in the description below. And uh, if you enjoy uh, more content like this, check out Chelsea's entire season thus far. Uh, I've done all the Sims, including the friendlies. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Keep the blue flag flying high.